All right, with the urging of my daughter, the next project I'm going to do is a toy mailbox. Um, I'm going to use some of this aluminum coil here. It's uh, basically a 6 inch by 10 foot coil. I'll use like uh, an 11 inch sheet of it. The front and back will be made from quarter inch plywood, um, birch plywood. The body of the mailbox is going to be made with this sheet here. So I need an 11 inch strip of it. And, uh, it's soft enough to cut with the scissors, so once I have it marked, I'll just cut it with the scissors. We have our little sheet cut out. I'm going to cut out the base of the mailbox. Um, I'll start by stack cutting using the outside pattern. And I got my two boards to stack cut with. Um, People attach the boards together a lot of different ways. I don't do a lot of stack cutting myself, but I figure quickest. I usually just tape them together like so. And if I need to, as I cut out the pattern, I may add some more tape. Simply attach the pattern on here. For this, I'll probably use a glue stick. I either use a spray on adhesive for larger patterns or a glue stick for smaller ones. identical copies. Alright, I'm going to cut out my notch and cut out the boings back to here. Now we're going to take, I'm going to cut out the back panel. These are the two arches that are going to be, uh, this will go on the back panel to go over the back of the mailbox. And this will go with the uh, front uh, opening as well. And I'll pretty much do those the same way. I'll attach them to the uh, plywood and cut them out. The back is glued together. Do a little sanding to clean it up. I haven't glued the base of the mailbox together yet. I'll probably do that next. So it'll be drying while I'm cutting out the front piece for the mailbox. Essentially, we got this on here like this. This will slide down and go into place like that to hold the shape and the mailbox uh, body in place. The way the front is going to work, it's very similar to the back, but the uh, inside piece here going to be cut out and that's going to be the door itself. This will double up with that to give it a little more strength and thickness and then kind of glue at the base of the front. So I'll get this cut out. I'm actually going to drill some small holes in from the sides for the hinge. Not sure if that's going to work out. If it doesn't end up working out then I'll just hinge it on the bottom. front piece, um, just finished cutting it out, around at the edge here a little bit for the hinge action, it'll end up being in here like so, 
uh, first we have one of the arches we cut out that will go on the back side of the front piece to give it more strength. So we'll glue that together, and then we'll glue that on the front of the mailbox. For the knob to open and close the door, I'm going to compound scroll as this out of a small piece of aspirin. Let's cut it out in both directions. Just take a part here. A nice little pull. And just mount that on the door like so. Alright. We have the knob clamped on the door and gluing. We have the front frame sanded and glued together, ready to glue on the front. The mailbox itself, the back is glued in place, like this. Next, next I'll be gluing this in place, basically like that. There's a small lip on the top. Alright, come on now. There's a small lip on the top to keep it from going back too far. Well, my plan for the hinges didn't work out. The uh, plywood was too weak. To, to hinge it in that way, which I could have figured. So I'm going to make uh, hinges that glue on out of this wood here. Uh, kind of uh, compound scrolling, kind of not, but uh, first I'll drill out the holes for the hinges, cut the shape out, then cut the profile from the other side. <laughs> Once you have your uh, hinges cut out, you want to put a dowel in there and just kind of test to make sure they have the, the smooth range of motion. Um, they're going to go on the mailbox like that. Essentially, I'll, I'll just glue it on in place. Okay. This will be the flag. I'm going to cut it out of. Um, eighth inch Baltic birch plywood. You could use the uh, same 3 16th plywood that um, did the rest of the mailbox with it. It just stick out more on the side. pieces you end up with will go together something like this. And on top of there. And then we'll roll them down. Alright. Hinges are glued on. I'll just saw those off. For the flag I've scored some area on the aluminum. And this is going to be basically the flag holder here. So I'm going to use epoxy to glue it on there. And uh, a little wood glue to glue it to the front. That'll be where the flag is. Well, I got the, uh, the flag is on here. Could be a little tighter, but it should work fine. As far as operational. Next thing our mailbox needs is a post. So, for that, uh, yeah, you've made a one and a half inch post. One and a half inch square. Uh, compound scroll, a top design on it, there will be a slot cut in it lower down, this will be a support for the mailbox that will kind of go like so.
that's the top of the mailbox bolt. So, now that we have this, we'll go in the bottom notch that we created earlier. We're going to take and size it up by the way it looks here on the post so we can position where to put our notch. Um, right about there looks fairly good. So that's about where we're going to put it. Alright, we got the notch in there. The mailbox in here. Earlier I made a hole back here, and I'll just uh, center that by eye and uh, put a screw in there to hold it in place. All right. The base the hole is going to go into, I'm going to cut it down to uh, a smaller size to go in the pole. For the mount, basically you have two blocks of wood, the whole square hole cut in it. The way I've set up the clamping mechanism, I've got this carriage bolt here. It's going to go in there. And then this here, like this. Um, I, I glued a piece of softer wood here because I don't want to mar the desk that I'm going to clamp the mailbox to. And then I have basically a nut in that. Right. So once we get that in there, there's the mount. Here we have the finished mailbox mounted on the desk with the, the mount. Mount worked pretty good. Slide door works. Now I need to make some bills to put in it.